Oh no, it's what every guinea pig parent fears most. Ringworm. <gasps> Ringworm! Is it really a worm? Are my other pigs going to get it? Am I going to get it? Oh, am I a bad parent? Is their cage dirty? Do I have to clean their cage? I don't... Do I have to go to the vet? What can I do? Oh my gosh. What is ringworm? Don't worry, ringworm is really common, especially in guinea pigs and people. If you have it on your foot, it's called athlete's foot. So chances are you've experienced it at some point in your lifetime. It comes from humid areas and fungus that's airborne and all around us. Good morning, everyone. Scotty's Animals. Scott here. Timmy! I'm with Timmy, and Timmy is in the middle of a ringworm treatment. Uh, about a week ago, I came in and noticed he had a little crust on his nose. And what you see here is the antifungal shampoo medicine soaking right now. Um, if you see a little crust on your piggy, the easy thing to do is to take some, first give them a full on antifungal bath with uh, this antifungal shampoo. And then, come here Tim, I take just a little bit, come here, he's getting a little impatient. I take a little bit of this after I've treated him and I, no, don't eat it. I paint it right in the spot and lather it up so that he doesn't need to get a full shower full bath again. Don't eat it. So make sure to get it on there real good and let it soak. Let it stay on there for a bit. So you see what I'm doing? Don't, don't eat it. We really want to let this soak on. This is going to kill the fungus. Now, after you do the first bath, that fungus should pretty much be dead. And I've done this, the shampoo, every other day for the past week. And with, uh, the, then you put the cream on every day. Keep the cream on. This is just a really easy way to put on, <laughs> to put on the shampoo. Okay. If I had a little bit bigger brush, I might be able to get some more water in there and clean it off faster. Okay. Don't, don't eat it. What you'll find after treating with the antifungal shampoo is that the crust goes away and it exposes really soft baby skin. And then the little tiny hairs will grow back almost instantly. So that's where, t that's where Timmy is right about now. Let's rinse you off. So if you look, you can see those lighter parts of the skin is where that crust was really heavy. But you can see his baby fur starting to grow back. Timmy had mange when he first came in. He was living in a park um, and he was brought in with a severe case of mange mites. Um, he was really skinny. I'll see if I can pull up that photo. Mange mites are microscopic mites that burrow under the skin and cause severe pain and itching. The stress caused by the itchiness can be so bad it can cause seizures, stroke, heart attack, and death when not treated quickly. It can also lower the immune system and allow ringworm to thrive. And that is another reason why these conditions are often confused. But both can be treated with over-the-counter medications. Mange mites can be treated with Revolution or Ivermectin and ringworm can be treated easily with antifungal shampoo and creams. This is baby Timmy. Tito's been sniffing his butt. Tito, get out of there. Don't nibble his junk.
When Timmy first came into the rescue, he had to wear a gauze sweater to prevent him from scratching himself into a seizure. Ringworm usually starts on the face and the feet with guinea pigs, but mange mites generally appear as an overall condition. What are the signs and symptoms of ringworm? Well, when you first see ringworm, you might just notice that the skin in the affected area is just thicker and tough. Under the fur, there might be a bump starting to form. Then you might notice actually little bits of crust. Timmy, you're nibbling me, it hurts. So if you see little bits of crust um, and, and you feel it with your finger and it feels very thick, it's with little white kind of crust, white powdery crust around it, and that's most likely ringworm. Now, I just gave him a regular bath and I soaked him in the uh, dandruff shampoo with the, the pyrethone zinc ingredient. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but the zinc ingredient and it makes all the crust come off right away within that first bath in the first few minutes all the crust comes off and you're left with soft uh, exposed skin so the same thing now I'm gonna uh, put the um, we just use this cream that's all you really need um, a little bit of cream I also like to put it on with the paintbrush we rinse off the shampoo. I really like using this brush because with the brush um, it's a lot easier to get it in the area that I want only. Good job. Good job Jimmy. Let me see. Really work it in here. Well, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to our ringworm treatment pages at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. Okay, so I just want to do a little quick thing about ringworm. Um, no big deal. It's not a worm, it's just a fungus. Ringworm they can get at any time, they can get it because they carry the spores with them, so they can yep. just pop up at any time in any guinea pig. Timmy's good boy. But the ringworm, does that look like it's under control? Totally, yeah. It's all so clear, I gave it's him, nice I gave... pink skin, it's grown back, it's good. Yeah. Looking good. He's gorgeous. Yeah. He's, he, he's always very um, well behaved and nice. Special boy. Yes, you are.